Hey travelers, today I want to talk to you about one of the most popular all-inclusive resort chains in Mexico. It's the Rio Resorts and they have a couple of different brands. They have the Rio Classic and then they have the Rio Palace brand and I'm going to explain to you today a little bit about what the differences are and some of the things that might just make you consider switching from a regular classic Rio resort up to a palace resort. So let's go ahead and get started. Now their properties are located in Cabo San Lucas, Mazatlan, Puerto Vallarta, Cancun, as well as Playa del Carmen. And here's a breakdown of all the different properties where they're located. And you see in red, the ones that are listed are the palace properties. And so those have a few extra inclusions. So let's talk about that. Most of these properties are clustered somewhat together, either side by side or nearby easy walking distance. And you have full exchange privileges to any of the other properties that are at the same level or below. With the one exception being the Rio Lupita located in Playa del Carmen does not have exchange privileges to any of the other properties in the area. Now the Rio Classic properties are they're the ones that are the least expensive and they're also the ones that have the Rio Party properties. So this is where you're going to find live DJs, foam parties and white parties and neon parties where you can basically have a glow party right on the property. So those are a lot of fun. Now, no matter if you're staying at a classic property or a palace property, there are some basics that are included for both. One of them is 24 hour access to food and drinks. Sports bar was open 24 hours where you have self-serve drinks as well as some snacks in the fridge you can help yourself to at any time of day. Perfect for those early morning excursions, late night arrivals, or anything in between. Now, unlike some of the other properties that are at this level, uh, at the Rio Resorts, there are no restrictions on a la carte dining. If you wanna do a la carte dining every day of the week, you can, there's no limitations on that. Um, now, I will say that although they are moving to a reservation-free model, not all the properties have quite migrated to this yet. Both levels of properties also have a daily restocked minibar in which you'll find water, pop, as well as beers. And there's also a liquor dispenser in the room. So if you're looking to make yourself a cocktail before heading out for dinner, no problem, you can just help yourself. Now this is where things start to get a little bit different in terms of the offerings and inclusions, whether you're staying at a classic property or a palace. If you're staying at a classic property, the one thing that might come as a big surprise to you is that there is no coffee maker in the room. If you really need that caffeine fix first thing in the morning, you're just not gonna have access to coffee in your room. If you're staying at a palace property, they do have coffee makers so you can just help yourself. Now talking about the Wi-Fi, there is a bit of a difference in terms of the classic properties versus the palace levels. With classic, you are allowed one device per person. If you want to have more than one device, what you would need to do is toggle between them. So you would log, log out of your phone and then log into the account with your laptop. So you can still use more than one device, just not at the same time. Now, if you're staying at a palace property, then you would get two devices per person. So slightly uh, improved offering as well as it is premium internet as opposed to regular Wi-Fi. I'm gonna actually be staying at the Rio Emerald Bay in Mazatlan next week. So stay tuned for videos on that. And I will do a speed test to check what the speed of the Wi-Fi is like from there. In the classic properties, they tend to have more of a closed door concept for the bathroom. But if you prefer the open door concept, you will find that at more of the palace properties. So if you want the enclosed bathroom with lots of space where you're gonna have a door to enter into the sink area as well as the shower and toilet area, then that's classic. If you want more open concept and these generally will have a tub in the middle of the room with the sinks outside, a door to the toilet and generally a frosted glass to the shower. So if you're staying with friends, that can get a little bit awkward. So a couple of the other inclusions with the Palace brand resorts is that you have 24 hour room service included, as well as international brand alcohol, as well as champagne breakfast. So just some extra little perks to give you that elevated service. Now I mentioned that you have to make reservations at some of the a la carte restaurants at some of the properties, the classic properties. And one thing I did want to point out with that is that the Rio does have an app now for their product and you can go online, you can sign in with your reservation and you can actually do online check-in and check-out, which is pretty cool. 
and as well you can go on there to make your reservation so it's not this getting up at 6 a.m to go and stand in the lobby and line up and get your choice of one or two reservations you can actually do it online which is a great improvement and they also list all their daily activities on there so you can see what's happening whether you're at the resort or you're just at home counting down the days until you get there so if you're planning your next trip to a Ryu property, then this hopefully breaks it down for you a little bit better about what the difference is between a regular Ryu property as well as a palace property and the different inclusions that each one has to offer. So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos and we'll see you on the next one.